Brass Banding um, includes a lot of children and uh, Eastern Bay Plenty Brass actually have more children in their band than any other band in New Zealand. I think a long time ago Brass used to be full of little old men all tooting away but it's very very different now, very different. People sometimes have the stereotype of, of a brass band playing marches and hymns and not, not exciting music, but we excite the pants off our audiences. Well, Whakatani really is unique in that we've got development programs and more young players in our band than, than any other band, not, not even counting A-grade bands. I really strongly believe that the main reason for our success really is the driver of, of Alan Spence, our musical director. He leads, directs, inspires. Uh, he has nurtured us all to understand that it's all about the youth and the development and how we can bring the youth alive right through the brass band program. The great thing about what we've done is so many of the kids have just come up through the ranks of the band. So right from the first time they pick up an instrument and they've gone on to, to bigger and, and brighter things, national band players and, and the likes. Part of our reasoning, I guess, for going up to A grade is the fact that Alan thought that our children, particularly not the oldies like me, but the young ones, really deserve the opportunity to play at the very highest level. It's for the love of what we do and being part of the community. We want to make Wakatani better and put us on the map and we've sure done that. It is definitely becoming more and more popular. Eastern Bay of Plenty Brass are leading the way. The band in a very short period of time has risen from D grade to A grade. Um, that, that doesn't happen by accident. Um, there's factors such as good players and good direction and good community and good committee and all of those things. But I, I think that when people hear us for the first time, they're just absolutely blown away. I'd say around the stand there would be half, half of the band is still at school. A national youth band that's just been away, I think there were six members from Whakatane. Uh, the national secondary schools are more from Whakatane than any other band in New Zealand. And I think we had seven in that. So really, really represent ourselves well with the youth. We have such clever, clever kids. When the kids go off to uni in Wellington, they're ready and they pick our kids up. They're waiting for them to go down there because they know the calibre of the musicians that leave this band room. We strongly believe that we do such a lot of great work in this town. We, we don't ask a lot, but we give a lot. I think that's, that's pretty key for our organisation. We don't actively push monetary value, you know, to, to try to get monetary support. Our concerts are always full. And we've got nine-year-olds and we've got, I think our eldest member of the senior band is perhaps we, we don't have too many oldies like me, but probably only mid-60s. Um, and there's probably only three of us that, that are over 50. Really a young people's thing. <laughs>